Hello, my name is Tarjan and today I'm going to show you the audio delay algorithm that I used for building my audio delay plugin right here. So before diving into it, let me show you the effect. So this is the original signal without effect. And this is with the effect. As you can see, you can hear the same signal uh, like co-merging over time. So how did I build this? Let me show you. So our delay plugin accepts an audio input and returns an audio output. The audio in computers are represented by 1D integer array. So essentially what are we doing is uh, we change the values of the array such that the output somehow includes like the signal that comes before. So it has this converging echo effect. So in our plugin, we have four parameters right here. The volume is just the main volume. We have dry level, wet level, feedback, and time. So let me start by talking dry level and wet level because those are the easy ones. So these two parameters contribute to the last equation we have right here, which means output is equal to the dry level times in. So dry level just controls the level of signal without effect plus wet level times the delayed signal. Wet level therefore just um, sets the level of the effect. Now feedback and delay time are the more important ones. Feedback is just the ratio, uh, which is like a, fl a float between 0 and 1. And this determines how much of the input we're writing to the output. And delay time is the first part of our algorithm, actually. So delay time determines the delay buffer length, which is delay time times sample rate. Sample rate is simply how many times the computer records the integer in a second. So usually it's 44,100 hertz and this is multiplied by delay time. So this determines the length of max length of the array. And we have two indexes uh, which actually makes the whole algorithm. So we have a read pointer and a write pointer. And uh, we store two different locations because we want the write pointer to be ahead of the read pointer so that we can have the same signal re recurring again. So that's what creates the delay signal. This is also called the circle buffer technique. And um, so we mod by delay buffer length. So whenever a pointer reaches to the end, it goes back to start. With this way, we can get that continuous converging delay effect. So lastly, so the delay buffer is the part where we have the signal with the delay and how we write is um, as I explained before so write pointer determines the index we want to write and the read pointer points behind of the write pointer so we have the same audio signal added to the delay that I will simply add them that's how audio works on computers and from that it contributes back to this main equation so we calculate the actual delayed signal, and then this creates our output. So yeah, thank you for listening.